hello friends welcome back to code tonight in today's video we will learn how to implement automapper in asp.net web mvc so what we have here is a asp.net mvc application and uh, first step what we have to do is we have to install the automapper nugget package so you have to go to project and manage nugget packages here you have to search for automapper in the browse section and you have to select the version 10.0 because it supports mvc okay so we will install this 10.0 version here and after you have done installing this version what you have to do is you have to go to uh, the project and you have to right click and add new class file and you can give it the name mapping profile you can see it here okay so so here what you have to do is uh, you have to add one class over here so first thing is we will create a class mapping profile and we will inherit it from profile so what we do here is we add here all the mappings that we want to use okay so for example i have created a, a one sample mapping here so this is a product class which is basically coming from database so because we have used entity framework here so this is coming from database and uh, for sample i have created one more class product gto okay because this is a like identical class from product okay so it is almost same and uh, this is just to show you how mapping works okay and then the reverse map is here because the reverse map will allow the reverse mapping from uh, product DTO to product class and vice versa okay so if we don't use reverse mapping here then you will be able to convert from product class to product DTO but you will not be able to convert product DTO class to product class okay so um, once you're done adding this class now you have to add this public static class mapping here now here we are adding the mapping profile class which we have created below and we are uh, setting this up because we don't want to uh, configure automapper uh, every time we want to use it so once you do it uh, this way here uh, i will also provide you the code so don't worry about that now we can go to controller and here on the controller so um, this is my admx entity and here i am getting the uh, list of products from the database okay so now uh, i want to convert this product list to a list product video okay and for that purpose i will use automapper here so this is the class that we have created in mapping profile and we will use mapper.map and this is the destination class in which you would want to convert your source class okay because item here is a product item okay and the destination class is for the to you and we have the mapping for that here okay so left one is the source and the right one is the destination okay so uh, we will just put a breakpoint here and we will run the application So automapper basically used for like uh, converting from one um, object to another object automatically. However, it only works uh, um, between uh, same properties. Okay. So um, for example, we have created these two classes which have almost same properties. So and that's where we use automapper. So now the application is running and we will get the code on the debugger here okay so um, we are getting our data in the product list here so um, we can see how many records we have we have two records here so now see um, we don't have anything in the 
second list and we have our automapper here so automapper will convert the data to the product video class and does it will uh, copy all the data from the source object to the destination object so this is how um, automapper actually works now uh, for example uh, if you want to specify any uh, Spatial mapping, then you can also do that. Okay, so we have another example here. So, uh, for example, if you want to like specify which property will come from where, so now here you can use for member and then you can um, set the pro property which you want to use and you can also set from where it will get the value. So, for example, here if we in the mapping, if we do like this okay so for example i am actually uh, saying that uh, whatever the product name add one two three in the end and now i just run the application again so this time the mapper will work and now it will uh, work uh, as per this uh, conversion okay so it will take the product name property add one two three and set in the product name in the product detail class okay so now we just wait for the debugger so again like before it will get all the product list and now see uh, if you will check the item it is having beverages in the product name okay but uh, you will see that when the conversion happens with auto mapper you will see that it has added one to three in the end so uh, this is because we have specified a special mapping for product name here so that's why it is picking uh, that specifically from here however other pro properties which are not mentioned here will be uh, converting like before so uh, if you have any special requirement then you can do this or if you don't have any special requirement then you can simply uh, use this way okay so uh, about the code part like from where you can get the code is uh, uh, i will show you how you can get the code so you can check out our official website codemat.com and I will also provide you a direct link so uh, no issues about that so uh, here you will see uh, a blog implement auto mapper in ASP.NET and you see so you can open up that blog and here uh, you will see all the code that I have just used in the video tutorial so you can also download the code and if you have any kind of issues then again you can comment on the video so uh, thanks for watching guys